Uh, my name is Jacob Standridge, part of Team BDGC and founder of T-Rex Disc Golf, and this is my In The Bag. Hi everyone, my name is Jacob Standridge, I'm a part of Team Basinger Disc Golf channel and I'm also the founder of T-Rex Disc Golf and this is my In The Bag. To start off, we're going to talk about the 300 uh, PA3. It is my straight flying putter, I'll throw it for straight shots and a little bit of Anheuser's. Next I have this 400G Seppo Paiu PA1. I used to love to throw this thing on hyzers. It was great for up shots. It's getting a little beat in so it flies a lot more sturdy than when I like it. but I might have to switch it out sooner with something different. Next I have this Proto PA4 in this lavender plastic. This thing is flippy. It is my go-to hyzer flip if I need it in the woods, but I don't throw it much on windy ways because it will just go with the wind. Um, over here in this bag, pocket. For approach disc, which I consider putters kind of too. I have a 750A3 flat. This thing is great. It's not as overstable as the A2, but it goes straight and just fades beautifully to the right. Love it when I'm for forehands. Next, I have this Core Team A2. It is a lot beefier than the A3. Great for hyzer flip, hyzer throws, and hyzer forehands. Next, I got into something new in my bag is the 500 Sepo Paiu PA1. Uh, this thing is a lot beefier than what I thought it was going to be. It's great for backhand hyzer up shots. Um, when it comes to forehands, these are not great forehanding discs unless you got really, really touchy with it. Uh, they just tend to flip over when you forehand them. Next, I have a 400G PA4. This is gummy. I love this disc. It flies so straight. And if I want to, I can get the flip just a little bit for those great shot long up shots. I also have this 750PA2. It is beefier than the 400PA1 PA that I got, that's Sepho Paiu. Uh, PA2s are beefier than what you think they are, so if you need one for great hyzer up shots or a little bit in hyzer flex, this is the one for you. For my actual putting putters, I have two special edition first run soft PA3s. Love these things, love the soft PA3 products that Prodigy's doing. And next we'll move on to mid ranges. So, first mid range I have here. Is my M3. It's if I throw it flat, it's just going to go straight. It's basically a point and shoot disc. Absolutely love this disc for those short, short, short holes and about 250 uh, up shots. Great, great disc here. Next, I have this pink. It was pink. It's a uh, M32, which means that it was a. It's a beefy M3. So. This is great for hyzer up shots. You have to fight the wind in it. This thing's going to go where you want it to and it's going to finish left. Next, I have a Will Shoestrick 750 MX3. Love this thing. It has tons of glide. If you need to throw a shot that's a little bit uphill and you're wanting to throw a mid range because it's like 260, 270, this, this is for you. It's great glide on it. It is amazing. Love to throw this thing. Next, I have a first run M4, uh, 400G plastic. This one is my more most more stable M4. It will flip a little bit, but not much at all. Nothing. It's a very controllable disc. I love it. This is my Kel Leviska. I don't know if I pronounced your last name or correct or not, but I'm sorry. Uh, this is a M4 400G. It is super flippy. It's a little bit of a puddle top to it. I'll throw this thing on a hyzer and it's, I can trust it to flip in the woods. 
great disc for wood shots, great disc for open shots that are over to the right. And next, the new disc in my bag I'm trying out is the 500 Flight Factory M4. It's not as flippy as the first run or the Kel Leviska, but it does have a little, little bit of fade on it and turn, but it feels really, really good. I just love the feel of the 400, 500 plastic. It's, it's great. So moving on to fairways, I want to start off with this F2. Uh, this F2 has been with me since I started playing. It's gotten a little flippy now. It's not as stable as it used to be, so I'm probably going to have to find a new one or just get one of the new 500 F1s. Uh, I used to love to throw this on four hands, but it has gotten more flippy on me, so it tends to turn over more for shots I don't need it to. But I love this for up shots with backhands. I can trust it to go straight. Just absolutely love this F2. Next, I have this uh, Prodigy F3. I got it back when Paige Pierce in 2000 was world champion, two-time world champion of Prodigy, 2011-2013. Uh, it's multiple stamped. Love it. I don't throw this in the woods for obvious reasons. Uh, I have lost it and found it multiple times. This disc I can throw flat and trust it to turn and then fade back at the very end. It has a very slight turn to it. It is a, if I throw it on hyzer, it goes hyzer. If I throw it flat, it f turns and fades back. Love this disc for wooded shots. Next I have this F3, which is F5, which is the disc I've had for as long as I can remember. I have finally gotten this F5 to where it beats in enough to where it actually flips like I want it to. I throw it flat and it's going to turn and flip for at least 50 or 60 feet and then fade back softly. It's not like an F7 where it's going to turn and turn into a roller. Love this F F5. Love the stamp on it. But hate to lose it. Probably will one day. Next I have this Team Halo 750H1. This thing is a mini X1. It is a meat hook. Uh, I don't throw it much because if it's super windy, it's a super windy day. This thing's coming out for upshots only. Next I have is the OG H3. OG H3 400G plastic. This thing goes dead straight. Love this disc. I throw it flat. It's going nothing but straight. It is another point and shoot disc just like the M3. Just a little bit longer flying. Next I have the Chris Dickerson. H3V2, 750 plastic. I have beat this disc in an, enough to where it will actually flip for me just slightly and then come back. Great for wooded shots again. Here in East Tennessee, we have a bunch of courses that are wooded, so if we need something like this in our bags. Next, I have a newer disc uh, for me. It's the 500H4V2. This thing has flips. I can throw it on a hyzer and trust it to flip Great for about 300, 320 little hyzer flip shots to the woods. Great for up shots. Just a great overall disc. I recommend this disc quite a bit. I love it. Next, I have a 500 FX2. The 500 plastic is a unique disc that Project came out with not too long ago. It has the glossy top and the kind of non gloss bottom. It's supposed to help get a lot of glide on it, and Chris Dickerson designed it that way. This thing does have glide on it, but it's still meat hook. I trust this disc in the headwind, and in, or if I need to get a sharp left turn, I'll throw it backhand flat and let the disc work and do its business. Up here, I have another FX2. This one's 400. It's a little more, since the edges are so sharp on these bottoms, uh, the 400 plastic is a lot nicer to forehand. The 500 is really rough on the fingers. So to forehand it, if I want to throw an FX2, I get the 400 plastic. It's a lot softer, a lot easier to forehand, and it feels more comfortable in your hand a little bit too. Next, for the, moving on to the drivers, I have a Matteo D1. This thing, if you throw it right, absolutely bombs. And I got to give a shout out to and Andy uh, Andrew Bushney and Joey Lutz. They actually, I lost this in Knoxville, Tennessee, and someone got it and played with it in Georgia and they found it and shipped it back to me. Shout out to those guys, those guys are awesome. If you see them playing, tell them thank you because they'll help you with everything you need. Uh, but this disc, if you throw on flat, it's going to turn and flip on you. 
and ride forever and then it's going to fade back strongly like a d1 love this disc for backhands and i'm actually love this disc for a straight long forehand as well it doesn't flip when you throw it as a forehand next i have a proto d1 uh, this is a little bit lighter than max weight it's 172 so i can throw it flat and have it ride flat for a lot longer than if it was like a 174 where it would dump hard it's not as overstable as some other d1s but this thing absolutely bombs you throw it flat it fades a little bit and it carries and it drops over to the left Next I have a lighter D1. This is a 400G or 400 series. It is 168. I'll throw this flat and it will turn, flip, flip and ride and they come back. Um, it's great for forehands. Love this disc, super flat. The flatter the disc is, the better I like it for forehands. It just feels better in my hand, more control. Next I have a D2, Battalion Team D2. I got this from uh, purchased it online this thing is flippy it's flippy for a d2 but i like that about it and it's gummy and it feels great you throw it hyzer and you can trust it to flip especially i love this for uphill shots or really really long shots this is one of my bomber discs if i can take this i can reach about 400 with it on a really good rip this d2 i like the flick it's super flat uh, this is just a OG D D2 400 series. Um, I like to flick it. It will go straight and then fade to the right. And if I throw it backhand, it's going to have some flip to it. And then before it comes back over. Same as the other D2. Love these things. Next, I have this beautiful CVO D2. Um, it's just like the other D2. Super flippy. Love throwing these for long shots love these d2s they feel like they're broken in um, real gummy really pretty love this one next i have this battalion team d3 and honestly this d3 flies like a d5 or d6 this thing is so flippy if i put this right and the i don't have a strong headwind this thing will go 420 430 easy no problems Next, I got this new in the bag. I've not really tested it out much, but I'm looking forward to it. This is a Bowling Green D3 I got from D Prodigy Disc with the Flyboy Aviation Disc Off stamp on it. These things are known to be meat hooks, and I've thrown it a little bit, and it flies like a, you would think a D1 should. It is very stable for a D3. Next, I have a first run Prodigy uh, D4. I'll throw this, this is another one of my bomber discs, I'll throw this for tight wooded holes that I can trust it to flip and ride and then come back. This one flips the most if I throw it right. If I throw it flat, it's going and flipping and coming back exactly how I want it. Great for uphill shots, really long wooded shots. Absolutely love this disc. My last disc probably shouldn't be my bag because I don't think I already have the arm to throw up. This is a Prodigy. 750x1 um, I do use this some very rarely if I need to it's for get out of trouble long shots it's for when there's a wall of trees if you got to do a poke and hope dog leg left this is going sky hyzer love this disc for that I don't really forehand it it's just too beefy this thing is a meat hook if you can get an x1 and you have the arm for it they're great but otherwise it's just a get out of trouble disc utility disc that I spent a lot of money on. Uh, this is my new bag. I just got this last week. This is the new Prodigy BP1 B3. It's super light and I, this is a great step up from the BP2. A BP1 B2. Uh, rip resistant, fabric, it's waterproof. Got a putter pocket this time. So I can hold two putters, four putters, six, seven, eight putters, nine, ten, eleven putters if you're a putter fanatic. And then like 30 disc in the main pocket. I also got plenty of room. I've got my Bass Singer Disc Golf Channel uh, birdie bag with Star Wars. Love it. Keep your hands dry during the tournament. And that's pretty much it. That's my in the bag. Thanks for being here. Next, 
I have this um, Proto PA4 puddle top. It is my go-to driver if I have to throw a hyzer flip. It is, I said driver, didn't I? <laughs> Oh, you did. <laughs> I did. This is my go to job. I mean, <laughs> no, it's like the first time. Let's go like this. Take two. Take two. Okay. I love to. Sorry, hold on. Do it again. Start again. <laughs> again by saying, My name is Jacob Sanders. Oh, this is okay. The back. You know what I mean? Just. Okay. My bad. I should have said that. It's okay. Just don't do it again. You don't have to do the whole thing. It's all right. Just don't make that mistake again, okay? And, and don't forget to mention that uh, you lost to me three rounds today. You want to leave that part out? <laughs> You're for that in deleted scenes, aren't you? No. <laughs> Is that okay? Yeah, I think so. As long as that. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> we probably ain't gonna use that clip. That's not. <laughs> oh, I'm just so dynamic. On another latitude, they can't stand it. Yeah, I'm a rocket boy. I stay blasting off, and I was never planning on landing. I've been working on my legacy yeah. since I've been a prodigy. It's probably the dog in me. I mean, honestly, ain't no one stopping me. No apologies. I'm so astonishing. I say, Innova, yeah, I've been the one. We talking trophies, dog, give me them. Championships, I'ma give me some, and I'ma keep on grinding till the millions come.